What's going on everybody? <clears throat> Welcome to this beautiful Saturday morning. It's a little nippy. But come 3.30, it's going to be hot. Today, 3.30, we have number one Georgia versus the Florida Gators. Can Florida pull the upset over the number one ranked Georgia Bulldogs? Can Florida's offense get by that number one defense? Big Jordan Davis, Devontae White, Nolan Smith, Adam Anderson, Nakobe Dean, Trey Walker, or should I say Quay Walker, Trayvon Walker. <laughs> Florida's going to have it tough. Nah. Teams have scored on the defense. <laughs> Barely. And what was this I seen yesterday? Todd Grantham talking about how Georgia's defense or the linebackers are undisciplined. <laughs> undisciplined. Undisciplined? Where does he come up with that? We're not disciplined. <laughs> grant them, grant them, grant them. You'll see an undisciplined defense. Jacksonville, Florida. World's biggest outdoor cocktail party. Uh, I've heard they don't want to call it that no more. Biggest game of the year. In my town. <laughs> Can old Mullen pull an old upset? Now, I gotta admit, Florida got Georgia last year. 2021 is Georgia's year. I admit, if Georgia loses this game to an unranked Florida Gators, then you might as well just say Georgia is cursed. They haven't had a defense like this in I don't know how long. 
The defense has been playing lights out all year. Teams isn't even hardly scoring over 20 points. If any at all. Now, the mailman, Stetson Bennett, is starting this game. JT Daniels is healthy. Why Kirby isn't starting him, I have no clue. But then again, it could be because the way Bennett has been playing all season since taking over for Daniels. And he has been playing lights out. Well, I'm not even going to say he's been playing lights out. But he has been playing a good game this season. Besides, beside a few mistakes here and there, almost throwing an interception in a few games instead of throwing the ball away. I believe what Kirby will do, and I don't know if he should even do it, is rotate both quarterbacks in and out. Now whoever has the hot hand he needs to stay with. It has finally come. We are finally here. And I'll tell you, it is a little chilly this morning. <laughs> Perfect football weather in Jacksonville, Florida. Y'all do me a favor, if you like watching my videos, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and notification. I sure appreciate it. Can Florida's defense contain Georgia's offense? Can their defense contain Georgia's three, four running backs? Now, I doubt Kendall Milton will be playing this game. I know he got hurt here last week during practice. They say George Pickens would probably be back this game, but I doubt he plays. Don't know about Dominic Blaylock. I, <laughs> You know, I don't understand. These players have been hurt since spring or fall. Why haven't they been playing by now? You know they healed up. You know they ready to go. And they're just not playing. How many sacks will Georgia's defense have? I say at least four, five. I don't think Florida's offensive line is going to hold up all four quarters against Georgia's defensive front. I believe Georgia's defensive front it's going to give Florida 
offensive line issues the later the game goes. Now, they say Florida's got a pretty good defense. I don't know if I've seen it. Maybe a few games here and there they have. Georgia's offensive line is going to have to tighten up this game. Now, the later the, through the season, they've started coming along. Now, I'm not saying Florida's defense is the greatest, but Georgia's offensive line has struggled at times. Now, can they finally step up today and hold up? against Brenton Cox and that Florida defensive front. Georgia's linebackers are going to have to be prepared. And this is one thing that killed Georgia's defense last year is Mullen runs that out route with the wheel route with them running backs. Georgia could not stop it last year. Will Kirby Smart be prepared for that and have his guys ready to cover the wheel route? Because I'm going to tell you, <laughs> if Florida runs the wheel route and Georgia can't stop it, it's going to be a long day for Georgia. They're going to have to be prepared to stop it. And I do believe Florida is going to have trouble with Brock Bowers and Darnell Washington. Brock Bowers is a hybrid tight end. And I don't even know if you could really call him a tight end. To me, he... I don't know... <laughs> To me, he plays like a wide receiver. I do not believe Florida's linebackers are going to be able to cover Brock Bowers. Not even the cornerbacks. That kid can play some ball, and he's fast. And they, and here a couple weeks ago, they just had another All-American tight end commit to the University of Georgia and Oscar Delp. And they say he is a good tight end and could be better than Brock Bowers. Now, can Georgia's receivers get off of Florida's cornerbacks? Now, they do have good defensive backs. That's going to be a question. A Donnie Mitchell, Lad McConkey. Kiaris Jackson, 
And I tell you, Kiaris Jackson, I don't know what he was thinking in that Kentucky game. Why didn't Kirby Smart pull him from punt returns and put somebody else back there? He's going to have to do a better job of catching the ball on punt returns. Now, he made quite a bit of mistakes against Kentucky and about gave the ball away many times. You can't do that against Florida. But I will say, it is going to be a great day today to watch some college football. The world's biggest cocktail party. You know everybody's ready for this game. The weather will be just right. <laughs> As you see, my nose is a little red. It is nippy this morning. <laughs> Can Georgia's running backs I'm not even going to ask, can Georgia's running backs, can Georgia's offensive line open holes for these running backs? Now, that's the thing. Don't get me wrong. Zamir White is a good running back. But I don't know if he... I don't know if he enjoys running up the middle or just can't find the holes. But this offensive line is going to have to open up holes for these running backs. Will Todd Monken and Kirby Smart use James Cook in the slot more today? than what they have been. And I, I, I'm going to tell you what I don't like to see neither. And Georgia cannot execute it. Maybe every so often they do. But that screen pass... Don't do it if you don't have enough blockers out there to block. And that's one thing, Georgia, I don't know if they can execute that play. It seems like to me when they execute it, they only have one blocker on that side, whichever side that they're throwing the screen pass. It'll be a good game, but I predict Georgia, <laughs> Mullen, you better be, be prepared. Y'all going to have to claw and scratch. to try to win this game. My score prediction, I say Georgia 28. 
Florida. 17. I appreciate y'all watching my video. Y'all hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Notification and hit that bell. I sure appreciate it. And I will see y'all at halftime. Y'all have a great Saturday morning. God bless and go dogs.